Welcome back everyone, Michael Strike, aka Strike Attack, and this is the official Quantum Resistant Ledger channel, your video portal into Pulse Quantum Blockchain Digital Asset Security. This video is part two of two, where we're going to show you how to create a wallet step by step through the graphical user interface. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to walk you through creating a wallet step by step and uh, explain things along the way. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to a website, passwordsgenerator.net. We're not going to create a password quite yet, uh, but this is one option as far as just being able to generate a secure password quickly. It's something I use uh, and it's, uh, it's just an easy, quick tool. Uh, so keep that open on your screen and then we're going to go to www.thecurl.org and we're going to download the desktop wallet. So we'll save that. We're going to check our downloads folder. We've got a couple different versions in there. And then we're going to install this. And go ahead and just let it run through the installation. All right, the uh, wallet's done. It does take a little bit of time in Windows, so just be a little bit patient uh, there. So let's go on to the next step. All right, so close this. Uh, it's worth mentioning that the web wallet that you can see on the screen down here has the same function. You can do, uh, you can create a wallet here. Um, the difference is that we're creating a wallet offline. It's a little bit more secure. Uh, if there was anything installed on the PC or cameras or something like that that you know, you know that you weren't aware of, uh, it's a little bit more secure to generate a wallet offline. Uh, so let's go on to the next step. So now that we have the wallet installed, uh, we are going to take ourselves offline. But let's first make sure that we are online. We'll just set up some pings to Google here. And there's even a better way to do this. Telnet.toggle.blinkandlights.nl. This will actually play Star Wars as a Telnet session, which is my personal favorite to make sure that you're connected to the internet. Put this right there. And what I'm going to do next is pull out my Ethernet adapter. So now I'm offline. In Windows, simply jump in here. No IP addresses, you're offline. 8.8.8 .8 8 .8 has stopped and the Telnet has stopped. So we are offline. So let's do this. Generate a QRL wallet. Okay. And while that's loading, we're going to go back to our generate password. This will generate a password on your machine. It does not send it across the internet. Since we're off the internet, that seems to check out. For now, I'm just gonna put everything in a notepad to keep things simple. So we're gonna to go to wallet. We're gonna take that passphrase that we generated. And we're going to create a wallet this way. So this is, if you can see on the right here, the description, this is what's going to uh, encrypt your wallet file uh, that you'll be able to download. Keep this passphrase, you're going to need it. Uh, and here you can select uh, the tree height. We went over tree heights and one-time signatures in the previous video. Uh, so I'm going to select one of, I'm gonna select 4096, I'll keep this hashing algorithm as the default. There's a few different options are here, all of which are secure. We're going to create a wallet. And that was pretty quick. Little disclaimer there. So this is all of your wallet information. This is the most important information that you need to keep. So up here we have your passphrase that we used that we created. This is your public key that you can give to anyone. This is your mnemonic phrase for retrieving your wallet or opening your wallet. And this is your hex seed key, which also can be used to open your wallet. 
So there's three different ways to open your wallet here. You'll be able to. We're gonna we're gonna save this and uh, we're gonna save a secure wallet file. under downloads and the three different ways are uh, through this mnemonic phrase you can open your wallet you can open your wallet through this hex seed or you can also open your wallet by simply using your JSON file which is password protected based on this password that we created right there uh, so what we're going to do is close this down now. We have our wallet created. We'll close the password generator. We don't need that anymore. Put that away. Close this. And of course we are offline still. So let's plug in the Ethernet adapter and go back online. Right, you can see uh, Google is returning. Looks like Telnet Star Wars doesn't recover. <laughs> All right, so we'll go, we'll go back to www.qrl.org. Let's just go into Web Wallet and let's open up the wallet. A few different ways. You have all this information saved. I'll just copy this to the clipboard right here. You can open your wallet with a mnemonic phrase. And it's coming up just now. There it is. Your wallet is open. Let's close the wallet. You can also open up with a hex seed. Here. That'll open up in just a moment. And the other way is you can open up with your JSON file. So we'll close the wallet back down over here. We'll go to wallet file. We're gonna browse the wallet. It's in my downloads. JSON. And we're going to type in the password that we typed in earlier, which is right there. And that will open up. And it's also worth mentioning that the, uh, the preferred option here, the most secure option is obviously a hardware wallet. Uh, you can find that uh, on www.ledger.com. You would open your wallet. You would plug in. Uh, you would open your wallet through Ledger Nano here. You would plug it in uh, to USB, and it would just open it up through your Ledger. So there's one other thing that we need to go over. We talked about one-time signature schemes in the uh, uh, in the Merkle tree. So let's, uh, if you want to check, anyone can check any public address and how many OTSs it has used. So if I type in the public address here, which is uh, your public address that, that you share out to someone if you want to be able to uh, have them send you quanta. Um, so right here, this is all, this is all, uh, pardon me, this right here, this is all private. information here and this is public so uh, keep this locked down as secure as possible and you can share this out okay so if you see the OTS tracker here uh, this is the number of times that you can submit a transaction to the network um, as you can see you have lots of options you can actually go over 262,000 it just takes a little bit of time to create but um, as you use your, as you perform a transaction on the, uh, on the blockchain, these will start to go red and you'll be able to see that. Uh, so that's it. Uh, if you have any other questions, those are all the best, those are best practices, step-by-step, -step, how to create a wallet. 
Um, if you have any other questions or anything like that, just uh, feel free to join our Discord community. We're at www.duckurl.org, or you can also visit docs.duckurl.org. Thanks for watching. More videos to come.